My consciousness is breaking apart. A mere hundred meters becomes, becomes an impossibly vast expanse. It's only a matter of time before the cavern collapses. The ceiling's crumbling in places, and the ground is strewn with rubble. My joints are stiff. It hurts to bend my limbs. If I let my guard down, I stop breathing. Finally, with the determination it would take it to, it would take to stick a knife in my throat, I managed to draw a few breaths. I keep doing it in spite of the pain. Because people can't live without oxygen. I might be able to move without oxygen. And even if I am to breathe, I would stop moving. It's hot. Hundreds of blades are growing out of my body. An inescapable death by skewering. Uh, skewering. I am the bone of my sword. But I already knew that. Hmm, said. The time bomb was activated when I used projection. So this end was already determined. My legs are heavy. I don't know what I'm doing. My heart's about to explode from, from pain, fatigue, and emptiness. But just a bit more. Everything will end once I beat him. There's no one in my way. There's no one getting in my way anymore. But... The shadow wavers. In front of the crater, the great holy grail. Bathed in the ruddy glow, is standing. Oh, that bastard. Fucking Kira. No, both of you are going to be able to do it. Amy and Shiro. A voice filled with strong will. As if it's fate, the man blocks my way through this desolate realm. I don't ask him how he's alive. He's dying. I don't feel magical energy from his body. There's a black stain where his heart should be. Like me, a brief fire that's like a turned hourglass. I don't hear his heartbeat. He doesn't have much longer to live. This isn't speculation, but a, pred uh, but a predication. Kotomine Kiri will die in a few minutes, even if he doesn't do anything. Uh, are we sure about that, Shiro? Okay. Okay. 
だが言ったはずだぞ私は誕生するものを祝福するとこれは今まさに生まれようとしているならばその誕生を阻む外敵から守ってやるのは当然ではないかな正気か琴峰そんな今にも死にそうな体で何を言ってやがるカリそれはお前も同じだろう正気など等にない目的は果たしたところで我々の末路は同じだお前はこれを滅ぼし私はこれを守る<笑>だがどちらが目的を果たそうと結果を得る者はいないそれを承知でお前はここまで来た無意味な争いだそんなものをする時点で私もお前も正気ではないだろう。Kotomini will not back down. You know, I can't really deny that he's his, his, his point. Him and Shira are, are bad men. He won't retreat, and I can't use projection as long as he's there. Any time to project. He'll smash my head if I if I so if I show the. He'll smash my head if I if I show such an opening. What did I do? 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 Even on the verge of death, why does he approve of mankind's enemy? All evils of this world. そもそもなぜ殺す生まれる前から悪と決めつけるのは傲慢ではないか帰りたがっている命ならば孵化させてやるのが愛ではないのか何が愛だエリクツ言うなあれはもう多くの人間を殺してきたこのまま外に出すことはできないでは聞こうお前の言う善悪とは何だ人を殺すことが絶対の悪だとお前はそう言うのかあんイエスそれは Good and evil mean nothing to me now Just as Emi and Shiro believed in disappeared the instant I decided to save Sakura. So it be. Moto Yuri Kota and Adonai. Ningen to a so you mono. Make a kuna Kota and Adonak. Endo Sri Shinjits or Yoshitos. Whatever any one. Ajimekara Shinjis or Naru Kotogara Nazo Nai. Ningen was then a cool doji ni canesonai. その属性を開けるのはあくまで自身の選択による始まりはゼロであり生まれ出ることに罪はないとお前には教えたはずだがああたとえそれが悪であろうと赤ん坊に罪はないとそうだ人間は生まれ学習によって善か悪かそのどちらかに偏るものとある聖典にはこうある人間は天使より優れた存在だと何故か
それは悪を知りながらも悪に走らぬ者がいるからだ生まれながら善しか知らぬ天使とは違う人間とは悪を持ちながら善と生きられる存在ゆえに善しか知らぬ天使より優れたものだと<笑>しかに吐き気を催すような悪人が戯れに見せる善意がある多くの人間を救った聖人が気まぐれに犯す悪意があるこの矛盾両立する善意と悪意こそが人を人たらしめる聖杯だ生きるということが罪であり生きているからこその罰がある生あってこその善であり生あってこその悪だ故に生まれいでぬものに在家は問えぬ。I mean, you, you certainly can. I won't. 何者にも望まれぬもの。生まれながらに悪であるものなどない。あれは、誕生するその瞬間まで、罰を受ける言われはない。So you're saying that as long as you let this thing come out, Then you let us fight it. That's 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 what you're getting at. That's Kotomini's answer. That man pardons all evils of this world for this reason alone. <laughs> そうだこれは存在自体が悪だ何しろそのように作られた初めから悪であるようにと生まれたのだ人間とは違うこれは悪しか持たぬ人々が作り上げた純粋な単一心だだがその行為が悪だとしてもあれ本人がそれをどう思うかはまだわかるまい<笑> What Angra Mainyu thinks about his own actions? そうだこの世すべての悪本人が自らの行動を足と嘆くかよしと笑うかそれは我々の測るところではないもしあれに人に近い意志があり自らの存在を嘆くのであればそれは悪だろうだが自らの存在に何の疑問も持たなければあれは善だ何しろそのように望まれたもの自らの機能に疑いを持たぬのであればそれが悪であるはずがない<笑>そう生まれながらにして持ちえぬもの初めからこの世に望まれなかったものそれが誕生する意味価値のないものが存在する価値をあれは見せてくれるだろう何もかもなくし何もかも壊した後ただ一人残ったものが果たして自身を許せるのか私はそれが知りたい外界との隔たりを持ったものがありのままに生き続けることに在価があるのかどうかその是非を問うそのためにお前の父を殺しそのためにマトウサクラを生かした私では答えは出せない故に答えを出せる者の誕生を願った
それが私の目的だエミアシロ自身に帰る望みを持たぬお前と対極に位置する同質の願望だ I can't comprehend him His wish is too alien for me Yeah Yeah So there's only one thing I understand That's the only reason he Sakura wo Sonna koto no tameni Sakura wo liyo shita no ka I shake off the vagueness, glaring at the priest with all the hostility I can muster. And. So, Dana. 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 その疑問を解くためだけにここにあったそれは死を前にして変わるものでもない He makes this declaration holding my gaze His words are bold He states as a matter of course saying he has no regret or doubts That makes me realize we are ir irreconcilable. I opposed him ever since I first saw him. I finally realized why. I don't want to admit it, but it seems I like Koto Minikire. Uh, okay, really? I was frantic to see, to see him as an enemy, because I didn't want to accept that fact. He said we're similar. I understand now. We both believed ourselves to be sinners. And we both lived in a certain way to free ourselves of those chains. We both knew we could never be freed. But believed it was the right atonement and sought salvation that would never be given to us. There's no way he'll withdraw if he's, if he's the same as me. It's not that he's trying to grant his wish because he's about to die. That's right. It's not that he's protecting his oath in his last moments. That's how he lived until now. He never walked a different path. So even if he's to die in the next minute, he doesn't know any other way to live. ことここに至ってようやく気がついた He steps forward There's not much time left for either of us So we have to settle the match quickly We have to extinguish the other's fire before our own blows out 私はお前たちを羨んでいる求めても得られなかったもの手に入れたというのに手に入らなかったどのような戒律をもってしても指の隙間からこぼれ落ちた無数の思い<音声>お前たちが幸福と感じるものがその鬱積をここで帳消しにするのみだ
幸福と感じられなかった。No matter what he tried, he sought and sought, but couldn't obtain happiness. And the only way of life he found was carrying death. So, how can he abandon his way of life now? So, that's it. I'm going to use the time to use it. I resume breathing. Pulling oxygen into my lungs, I get my body ready for battle. Kamawa. Jikan ga nai no wa o t a g a i sama da. Strength enters k o t o m i n i s body. There's no way this is, going to, this is going to turn into a battle of magic. We're both almost dead. All we can do is drive our fists into our opponent. There's no technique or strategy involved. It's a mere brawl to the death. He needs to kill me to make his wish come true. I need to kill him to destroy his wish. We both put our lives on the line. I need to beat him and eliminate the shadow before my life burns out. He kicks off of the ground and runs straight at me. Huh? I don't have such power left in my legs. I lower my stance, eyes fixed on his in oncoming chest, and. I swing my fist full force at a speed he can't avoid. But my fist swings through empty space. And I'm the one who gets hit. Uh. I don't see Kotomine. That speed. The enemy that charged, at me, or that charged me disappears from my view in an instant. Crouches down by my left side. Slams his palm into my stomach. My, and kicks about my body with his lightning fast legs. His kicks are like fire. It's been a while since I felt pain strong enough to make me lose consciousness. How many meters was I, was I kicked up? The impact was strong enough to rip my head off. No. If I'm going to talk about impact, then a second blow to my stomach was strong enough to pulverize my organs. I know this. Taking the shortest route without any initial movement, I circle into line. It tries to damage the inside instead of outside. And he's really good at it. It's not something he copied on the spot. So, what does she know? Korewa Marebudo. She no toro Mareta Taken, Uchini Nanimo Yadora and Monoda. She is a conago item. Chubun no yo. He strikes again. Forcing my fused joints to bend, I get up. Huh? But Kotomine stops and looks at his fist. His hands covered in red. It is. A price he had to pay to attack a body made of swords. I 
gather my consciousness and face my enemy. It doesn't matter. He won't stop attacking. Even if faced with the thorns of death. <laughs> Kotomini lowers his stance. His trained body is getting ready for the explosion. Uh, okay. <laughs> The enemy closes in. Kotomini is far stronger than me. His fist won't break. At this rate, the hourglass itself will be, will be destroyed before all the sand spills to the bottom. <laughs> I don't look away from my enemy. Closing in like a spark. There's only one thing I have to do. I have to be faster than last time. I have to punch him faster. Even if he avoids it. All I can hear is the sound of my heart. Pounding in my ears. I take no notice of the rumbling. Or the raining bits of earth. The one I must defeat is right in front of me. I don't care about some centuries-old wish, or the end of this small world. For Emi Ashiro, defeating this enemy is the last remaining purpose. 